ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your valuable time today in my imagination i have some ideas based on indian dance forms that i want to work on however it's quite challenging without proper financial support so creative scotland has shown faith in me and has stepped forward to turn on one of my ideas into reality thanks lulu thanks for that thanks creative scotland while i am uncertain about the future today only you can gauge the project's potential by experiencing it so in today's production i have incorporated three forms of indian dance those are kathak bharatanatyam and srijanshil while kathak and bharatanatyam are well known classical forms srijanshil meaning creative is a form that originated in bengal which is not much practiced here in scotland during the performance the girls will be showcasing bharatanatyam and kathak and i'll be presenting the srijanshil form at the outset i will provide a brief overview of the overall concept as you are aware our production today will be presented without the use of any music i know that sounds a bit weird but it's our it's my try only i have a few amazing experiences to share with you at the start of the project my girls will be dancing with me and i used to bring the speaker despite of knowing that we are not using music so this is the natural habit right and uh, sometimes the new venue owners when i went to went to book the halls they asked me how do you play the music so then i had to explain them okay this is a bit interesting and tricky that we are not playing the music so this kind of experiences i really want to share with you so for this project i have a few objectives and applications of this work let me explain them to you the fundamental objective is to explore whether dance can be considered as a comprehensive visual art akin to graphics sculptures fine arts and applied arts i aim to convey a narrative through the movements incorporating the intricate hand gestures from bharatanatyam and footwork and spin from kathak and of course the facial expressions or the abhinaya from the whole indian dance forms the secondly if you understand the concept today i would i could attempt to introduce it to the deaf organizations they have they often miss miss out uh, on fully enjoying the dance due to the presence of music unfortunately i don't have any connections with uh, scottish deaf organizations who could come today they are a bit busy due to the for the festival time but however i am a bit pleased to inform you that one of the deaf organization have invited me already to present the idea to their hearing impaired members so that they can experience it on this topic i would like to share another satisfying experience before today's presentation i had a we sharing with my we students and one of the student after showing seeing the full presentation she told it's not fair that they can't enjoy the indian dance i hope they can enjoy it now <laughs> so i think i got 10% success from there <laughs> okay uh, the third point the dance style minimizes its impact on nature this dance style actually why because with this absence of the loud music we can perform seamlessly in natural surroundings in the open park somewhere where the all the birds and animals are staying they will not be interrupted they will not get disturbed by elimin eliminating the need of the music systems we also conserve energy while continuing the entertain to entertain people so the energy saving things are also coming here the final result the last uh, the last um, goal or motto i can say that it should not be only restricted or confined with the deaf organizations maybe the ambition of this project isn't limited to just those
the disabilities i dream of dream to the broader audience as well enjoying this form of uh, performance in mainstream environment entertainments settings such as like events or festivals so let's see today we are addressing the global crisis that the world is suffering currently that is the climate change and as our storytelling part i have taken that climate change as a theme of our production we consider ourselves very fortunate to have a, a sessions with cbe dr bashvi fraser she is present with us today who has imparted her extensive knowledge on this topic since there won't be any music it might be a bit challenging for you to fully grasp the theme thus we have chosen colors of our costumes to complement the theme so you very uh, soon you will see the blue and green when the girls are wearing that is for the sky the leaves water on the other hand the brown and orange in their costume represents the earth mountains and fire i am dressed in distinct color symbolize the human being how disconnected to the nature now we will begin the presentation we have walked on with a little bit interactive session involving me let's play a game at first the girls will demonstrate the movements we will use in our presentation and you will have to guess are you feeling nostalgic about your childhood <laughs> playing games okay uh maybe i will ask my dancer friends karen and shilpi to restrict you for get from dancing because you you know it already <laughs> okay shia yeah. can anyone guess what she is trying to show the tree tree wow lovely thank you okay uh daksha Yes. Anyone? Yeah. Yeah. Peacock. Peacock. Wow. Sorry, Tony. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, green duck. Yeah. Yes. That's very obvious. Thank you. Thanks for your time. 